Okay, Johnny, so what are we going to do today? Build a blazing battery with potatoes. Yes, potato battery. This is going to be great. Hello. I'm Johnny. Welcome to my playhouse. Today we're just going to try to power this clock using these batteries. Potato batteries? Potato batteries, that's right. Okay, so first of all, we have to connect our electrodes. We're going to pull the insulation off of this one, which is a jumper wire basically. Zinc is going to go to black, so we're going to first connect our zinc to the black wire. I'll put it through the tiny hole and then try to twist it so that it makes a nice firm connection. Okay, Johnny. We're going to connect this to this copper electrode, this wire. Now we're going to again feed this wire through the hole in the copper. These are my favorite potatoes. And now we're going to make one more. Feed that through the tiny hole. Good job. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the copper electrode into the potato. So we put a copper in one. And now, now we need to put a zinc in the other one. Push it down in there good. And now we have to put our jumper wire in. Instead of putting another copper here and another zinc here, we're going to reverse them. I knew that. Did you? Okay. Potato, potato, potato. Okay. And then put a zinc in over there. Now it really only takes one potato to make electricity, but not enough to power the clock. So what we've done is hook up two potatoes in series by reversing the copper and the zinc, doubling the voltage, and the power. How can a potato make electricity? Well, the acids and salts in it act as an electrolyte. The acids and salts are going to knock the electrons off of the zinc. They're going to flow across the wires into the clock, and then back out, flowing towards the copper. So that flow of electrons is going to power this clock, we hope. So I'm now. I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Here's the on off button. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Flip this switch up. You, you see the number? Yeah. But isn't that amazing? I want to set it to the correct time. And what time is it now? <laughs> there we go. We've set our clock. Okay. So we're set at 550, which is our time now. Here's the question. Do you think it's just potatoes that will work for a battery? Or do you think maybe some other thing would work for a battery? A uh, banana and you, apple. Do you think a banana and, or an apple might work? Yeah. Well, let's try it. Here come some apples. Roll the apples. Okay. You want We're going to try these apples now and see if they'll make a battery just like the potatoes did. We're going to unplug these. Okay. Okay, I got one in there. See if you can put the copper one in the other side of the app. Okay. Right in my face. Oh, you got a little little apple juice spray in your face, huh? <laughs> now we'll take these out. Of the potato. Put the copper electrode in the in the apple, just like we did in the potato. Good, perfect. That's a lot. Now we'll pull this one out of the potato and put, put it in there. Let's see. Now, what's happening? I see 12 o'clock. There's electricity flowing from the apple. The apples are creating a battery just like the potatoes did. Isn't that amazing? Well, what else should we try? A uh, banana. Bananas? Let's try it. 
This is amazing. Look at this. We've tried potatoes. They work great. We've tried apples. They work great. Let's like try some bananas. I think I see eight, 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 eight. You're right. What are we seeing? We're seeing electricity with one apple and one banana. <laughs> Is that amazing? Let's see if we can do and, two bananas and see what they do. And then one potato and one, one banana. Okay. Let's see what happens. I see some electricity flowing. Wow. So now we've got electricity from two bananas. So we did two potatoes, two apples, one apple, one banana, and now two bananas, and we get electricity from everything. Um, I want to use these two into these. I want to use this one, but keep these ones in. I, I so a banana to... and a potato. Okay, let's try it. I put, I got them out. Okay, here you go. That went in this potato. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's watch our watch our clock here. When you put that electrode in, that zinc electrode, do electrons start Did to flow? See anything? Nothing, no. nothing yet. So let's see, when you put that zinc electrode into the potato, it powers up the clock. We have electricity. Okay, our last fruit to test. A kiwi. The kiwi has lots of nice acids in it, so I bet it's going to work just fine. Let's see what happens. There's no electricity flowing now, but is there some now? Yep, it worked. Another battery. Wow, this has been such a fun experiment. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Cuckoo. Ta-da. <laughs>